Yeah. Ooh. Um. Now, 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 now. Tonight, wow. Especially at the end. Oh, really yeah. at the end. Yeah, but we'll just tell you. We'll tell you anyways. Vince McMahon is basically uh, screwing Becky Lynch just like he's screwing Braun Strowman. So after apo uh, apologizing to Triple H and, Sh and uh, Stephanie, Vince sa says that the person who's taking Becky Lynch's spot is Charlotte Flair. So whoop the freaking do. Yeah. The flares always the flares are always getting their way because flares always make money and they sell headlines and whatnot. Well, like, because the beginning of Money in a Row was Triple H and Stephanie. They're pretty much just saying about elimination chamber matches, and then saying that yeah, Becky whoever wins Ron Ronda or Ruby will go against Becky until. And then they showed what happened on last yep. week. And then, pretty much saying Becky has to do one little thing. She was clear, but she just has to do just one little thing and has to apologize. And then she, yep. and she's like, yeah, well, I don't want to apologize. But then Triple H is like, it's apologize? And give, get, do your shot at WrestleMania or throw it away? Yeah, lose it all. Pretty much. And so she has a lot, a lot of time to think, and so she was just backstage a lot of times. Bliss and Balor. Bliss doesn't want her, so because she wants that moment. Finn was encouraging her. Uh, so. What was that? Yeah, just another drama. We're, we know it's going to end up being a triple threat anyways. Yeah, I, I seen something way back then. Well, Becky, Charlotte, and Rhonda. I, I, I've seen something like that, so it's probably going to be that. Because both, because we already know Charlotte and Becky both have rivalries with Rhonda, so why not just put all three of them together? Okay. So, the first match of the night. This is a qualifying match for the women's elimination chamber match. Yeah, well, it's not that. It's whoever whoever loses is the first one to start in the chamber match with the women's tag team wait the um who the the loser yeah that means whoever got pinned means who yeah which is the starting off of the chamber with number one spot well, that match was at, it got a little uh too extreme yeah, a little yeah. bit crazy too. Sasha Banks had to go in the back, all hurt, because I think that's one of the riots on. Well, the opponents were Sasha and Bailey, Naya and Tamina, and Liv and Sarah. Yeah. So somewhere in the middle of the match, Sasha Banks got really hurt. And so it was all Bailey all by herself. And she tried holding it her own, but she got flattened by Tamina. Yeah, it was pretty much out the end. Nia Jax to Tamina won. So Bailey and Sasha are gonna be the first, right? Yep, she got like a pin, so she Simone dropped the Bailey. Yep. So Sasha and Bailey are number one spot. Mm. And then the next match, which end up it was supposed to be Drew McIntyre versus Finn, a scene. But then end up having all these people come out. Kurt Angle and Corbin and Bobby Lashley or Booby Lashley. Kurt, Braun Strowman. Get these hands. Yep. Yeah. All these it just made a big explosion. That was awesome. What when, Braun did. Yeah. And then it didn't even just for two commercial. And then it um made a, this match. It made an official match. So yeah. it made a... Braun, Finn, Curtin. So, yeah, so it's a three-on-three -three match. Yeah, it was Braun from Finn Balor, Kurt Angle versus Corbin, McIntyre, and Bobby Lashley. And in, at first, um, Bobby and them won because they pinned uh, Finn. But 
Finn's leg was on the rope, and they're saying, nope, this match will continue. So basically, it they restarted the match. Yeah, because yeah. he cheated. And end up being Bron Finn and Kurt Angle winning. Finn did a coup de gras. So that His was signature that. stomp from the top rope. Yeah. And then, um, the next match is... Crazy Nikki Cross versus yeah, Ruby Riot. Let Nikki play. Love Nikki. She's awesome. But unfortunately, she lost because, of course, we knew Ruby Riot was going to win just because she's in the match with Brown Rousey. Yeah, you have to make the opponent look good. But we already know who's winning that Ronda Rousey. Yeah. But so why build up someone who's going to get knocked down? I don't know. And then there was this thing with Elias and the. Lucha House Party. Well, no, Elias. Elias was gonna play. Yeah, well, first, because he got interrupted like three times. Yeah. Because then he got interrupted by Becky backstage with Finn, I think. And then. <laughs> then he said. Got interrupted by. I forgot the second time who he got interrupted by. I thought it was Lucha House Party. No, the third time they interrupted them. Well, either way, either way but it ended up being a guitar, uh, one of the members ended up playing the guitar Cody better than still. Yeah, better than uh, Elias. Yep, he was really good. Lucha, he played the lucha, lucha. Yeah. Yeah, he was doing the song. He was. Yeah, you were hoping he was going to do the song from Coco, wasn't it? And then Elias is like, "Ooh, you want to do like a duet, like." Little action, sing it, and then he, of course. Yeah, because it was funny because there was a guitar in the corner, so something was up with that. Yeah, and he just went on. Pew. Yeah, yeah, so no, he, no road, road dog or Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, that was a little weird. He literally ran up the. He literally ran up the ramp. Yep. But, yeah, he's back to a freaking heel. I still like him. Yeah, and then it was out. Uh, Rollins coming out. He's he's talking about his match with uh, Brock Lesnar, pretty much. And then oh, Paul Heyman comes out. Of course, no Brock Lesnar. No, just Fat Penguin. They're just they're just you know what they're pretty much talking about. He's saying you're gonna be a victim. Blah blah blah. Your your um F five. Suplexes don't mean nothing. You're gonna lose. Pretty much, he's and the then, loser. Then Dean shows up and Ashley's giddy like a schoolgirl, and Dean just says, "Yeah, I got one word for you." Uh, Slay the beast. Yeah, it's two words. Slay but, the beast. Yeah. So Dean's in the ring, and we thought that, like you th thought, it'll be Nia Jax coming out. No, I not thought Nia Jax was coming out. Dean and Nia have a rivalry. They're supposed to have that match. No, I knew it was these three again. No. And I was thinking, oh, make him make Dean Ambrose lose again. Yeah. Make him lose yeah. because of EC3. Yeah, yeah but Dean actually won. And you started jumping it, jumping and hollering and squealing, yeah. like, sque squealing like a stock pig. And then you kicked the cat's okay. water. You yeah. kicked, you kicked the cat, the poor cat's water dish. Luckily, there was no water. In it. Yeah, because you're man Dean. But also, he wouldn't like it when a V roll. And then he just, they were shocked. He was shocked. Usually it would be like a couple of weeks of victories Dean. for them. Yeah. And then he has a big shock turnaround. Revival was, won the tag team titles from Rudin Gable. Yeah, that was the next match. Rudin Gable versus the Revival. Again and again and again and again and again and again. Oh, maybe now... They won, so maybe they won't do it again. Well, remember, yeah. Rude and Gable get a rematch. Yeah, well, it's good. Let it go back to them. And then they get a rematch. It's going to go back and forth. Actually, no. A rematch, if you win, that's it. It, can it cancels the other rematch. But, yeah, Revival won that. Yeah, they uh distracted um, Rude, and they knocked him out. 
while Gable's supposed to have someone tag, and then the other guy, and was it one of the revival members ended up attacking him, and they did their tag team finisher move? Mm-hmm. On Gable. He did on Gable and pinned him. So. Boston had a rematch at the Elimination Chamber or WrestleMania. Or Fastlane. Well, or the one of the matches at the Elimination Chamber is Finn versus Bobby Lashley for the Intercontinental title. Yeah, I hope Finn beats Bob Booby Lashley. Booby yeah. Lashley. Booby Lashley. Yeah. Come on, you know you can't stand Booby Lashley. Yeah, and you can't stand that little shrimp. Shrimpy, shrimpy. Shrimpy, shrimpy. 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 <laughs> Justin's like, uh, okay. <laughs> no, because why Why cheer for Bobby Lashley or Shrimpy Shrimpy? I'm not cheering for him. I'm picking on him. Yeah, no, you're they're cheering. both losers. Shrimp and Booby. Because <laughs> they're both losers. I hope Finn wins. Yeah. And, that's pretty and much then, it. pretty much the ending of Raw was, um... The like, beginning of our re- our recap? Yeah, he pretty much said it. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> the, it's not surprising really... ending. <laughs> it's not really surprising, because it's, be- it's very stereotypical. They it, they want to spice things up. Oh, we forgot about Alexis Bliss. She was she was the one that um told her to... Yes, I actually said, said that. that. Oh, you did? Uh, Were you paying attention, I Missy? I Alexis Bliss. I said... Um, that Becky had little moments in the back. Yeah, no, but it's really game. messed up. I'm just saying, you, we thought Alexis Bliss was going to be the one coming out at the end, or I did. Oh, yeah. But it turned out to be like Charlotte. But, he said it in the beginning anyway, but it was pretty much, she says sorry, but she's just saying she don't want anyone to take her dream, and plus that, he shook their hands. Rhonda shows up, and, and she won, she, she's excited, but then Vince comes out and just says no. I'm uh, giving it to Char- uh, to Charlotte. No, Why? I don't like bad attitudes. Sorry, I know I'm not like them. You have a 60 day suspension, Becky Lynch. I don't give in like them. And he says, Rhonda, this is who you're seeing. And yeah, Charlotte. And Charlotte. Yeah, Sands. Rhonda's face. She's like, she was like, yeah, what the heck? they are both pissed. But like I said, I think there's going to be a triple threat at WrestleMania. We already know why that that's having that match. You go ahead and say it, Ashley. What? what did Charlotte do backstage for Vince McMahon to make that match? Doing, doing, doing. <laughs> but if you're gonna do it, do it with flair. But oh man, this Monday Night Raw. I mean, I, despite the Dean Ambrose, I mean, this is the only thing I like. It's just getting weirder and weirder. Nah, it's just. It's it's get it's getting closer to WrestleMania, but it feel but lately with so, all the uh, with all the wrestlers gone, I mean like that's why we're getting the, that's what's happening. We're getting all the NXT wrestlers and like I'm pushing he- out the good I'm, ones. Yeah, but I'm like I'm here and Roman and Dean might go into some wrestling thing. I think they should, and then Seth should follow because basically Raw and sort of SmackDown are basically sinking ships. I mean. How did you like um, Monday Night Raw? I mean, it was eh, in the middle. Hey. Mhm. Um. Like stupid, I said. Stupid ad on your phone. Like I us said. Off. Like I said, Raw is going. It's like they're dragging their feet. Raw and SmackDown are, getting, are losing their flair. They're not like they used to back in the day. It's basically but it's running on fumes. NXT is where it's at. It's more fast paced. Let's just find out how SmackDown's gonna be tomorrow. Oh yeah. wait, we forgot about the most important thing. What? Kevin Owens actually. Oh 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 oh. He actually uh, s- uh, sent like a video he was saying actually... that he's gonna he's gonna come back. But he's not sure if he's going to be on Raw or SmackDown, but the Kevin Owens show is coming back. And he basically, he's with his family at a bowling alley, and he just gutter balls it. Right then and there. Yeah, and he got a gutter ball. <laughs> yeah, and they said he's a loser. <laughs> well, anyways, that's...
pretty much it. So, yeah. just let us know, like, what you really thought of this Monday Night Raw. Maybe, uh, tomorrow's... Maybe SmackDown might be a little better, probably not. But, um, I'm looking forward to seeing Elimination Chamber Sunday. Oh, yeah. I'll see what that's gonna be. Oh, yeah. Guess we're doing a recap of that. Oh, yeah. Even though we know Sasha Banks and Bailey are probably gonna win much. No, they're not. No, they're not. Look, did you see what happened to Sasha? Getting taken out with a stretcher? You honestly think that um, she's going to be able to compete? We don't even know how if she's really that seriously injured. They could change it right there. But anyway. Well, who are they going to replace Bailey with? I don't know. We already know it's going to be probably Nia Jax and Tamina are going to win it. That would be a good thing to win. Yeah. So. But. And that's going to be it. 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 So. I like to Dean Ambrose. Yeah. That's the best, probably the whole best part of Raw. Little Dean. <laughs> Ash, if there was an episode with that, without a Dean, you would say it failed. Which pretty much was when he was out on injury. So. Well, not for Missy. She's seen Roman. Oh, of course. Then come, Dean comes back, Roman goes out. I sometimes get him on the brain. Isn't that messed up? Dean comes back, Roman goes. And what's going to happen? Dean goes, then Roman comes back. What the heck? No. Here, and Roman goes to another company, Dean goes to another company, and then followed by Seth. Well, we'll just have to find out then, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.